So welcome to dental anatomy uh, practice. I hope this uh, review of questions uh, help guide you on uh, what is the most important questions. Okay. So question one of twenty one. Uh, the mesial contact of the permanent maxillary canine is located a in the incisor third, b in the middle third, c in the cervical third, d at the junction of the middle and and the incisor thirds, e at the junction of the middle and cervical third. So this is why you have to review. Uh, the height of contours, the contact areas of all the teeth. Uh, make sure you memorize that. Um, so here the answer, our answer is D at the junction of the middle and the inside of third. Uh, second question. The occlusal outline of the primary maxillary first mol, uh, first and second molars, is usually described as. So you have to know the shapes: a rhomboidal, b rectangular, c trapezoidal, d square, e triangular. So in this case, you have um, the answer as a. Okay, it's rhomboidal, and you have to memorize that. Make sure you know the shapes. What's the difference between a rhomboid and a rectangle, a rhomboid and a square, and uh, a trapezoid and a, a rectangle? So A is the answer. Question three. When a mandibular posterior tooth is viewed from the proximal so you're looking at the, uh, from the proximal side the shape of the crown is so you have to remember here that uh, the the mandibular uh, teeth are lingually inclined so you have to know uh, what what the shape of the crown will look like because of that angula uh, angulation so is it a trapezoidal is it a rhomboid is it a rectangle is it a triangular Okay, so our answer here is a, a rhomboid. All right. So B is the answer. So make sure you understand uh, the the shapes uh, when, of the teeth when you're viewing from different uh, views, such as a proximal view, occlusal view, facial, and lingual views. Question four: Which of the following teeth are most often in abnormal relation and contact with adjacent teeth in the same arch. So here, if the third molars are not in in the answers, you can look for any answer which has laterals, because you remember the laterals they always have different morphology. So because of the different morphology, they're in a, like a, a weird relation uh, with the the rest of the teeth. Okay, so our answer here. Is going to be uh, maxillary lateral incisors okay yeah question five in comparison with the permanent mandibular canine the permanent maxillary canine so you have to know the comparison uh, really well and make sure you understand uh, what the maxillary canine looks like and the mandibular canine looks like so uh, the maxillary canine is shorter. B. Maxillary canine has a relatively longer crown. C. Maxillary canine has a less pronounced singular. D. Maxillary canine has a cusp more nearly centered over the root when viewed from the uh, from the labia. This is true. Okay, so our answer is D. Uh, which of the following permanent teeth has a, a mesial distal measurement greater lingually than facially? Okay. So is it a maxillary canine? Is it a maxillary first molar? 
a mandibular first molar, a maxillary first premolar, or a, a mandibular first premolar. So here, our answer here, you have to know that it's a maxillary first molar, okay? And uh, that's because the lingual aspect, the, remember the, the mesial lingual cusp is, is bigger than the rest of the cusp or the, the lingual aspect on the plural side is, is a little bit longer than the, 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 the buccal aspect on the occlusal, okay? So our answer here is B. The height of contour occlusal cervically is located within the middle third of what? So you have to know, that was what I was saying, that you have to know the height of contours of the teeth here. Okay, so is it uh, in the distal surface of the permanent maxillary central incisors? B, is it on the lingual surface of the permanent maxillary first molar? C, is it on the facial surface of the permanent mandibular first premolar? D, is it on the facial surface of the permanent mandibular first molars? So most of the, the height of contour on the cervical cervically of the of the maxillary molars is in the middle third, okay? So our answer here is going to be B, okay? All right, so pits in the occlusal surface of the premolars and molars are at the junction of the... So what forms the pits? So the pits are at the junction of what? Are they at the junction of the marginal ridges? Or are they at the junction of inclined planes and cusp tips? Or is it uh, the developmental grooves? Or D, is it the facial and mesial surfaces? Okay, so these are formed by uh, developmental grooves. Okay, so you have to understand what the, the convergence of marginal ridges forms. You have to understand what the, the developmental grooves form. Okay. Your answer is uh, C. Question 9. Uh, deep concavity of the cervical areas occur on which surfaces of the permanent maxillary teeth? Okay. So is it on the mesial surfaces of the canine and first premolars? B. Mesial surfaces of central incisors and first premolars? D. Distal surfaces of second premolars and second molars. D, the mesial surfaces of first premolars and distal surface of the first molars. So you have to, here you have to understand. Yeah? So you look for the teeth. First of all, you look for, for what you know. You look for the teeth which have uh, concavities. So you know of maxillary first premolars have mesial concavities. So you, you choose the answers with uh, what, what, which says maxillary first premolars. So A, B, and D have the maxillary first premolars. So C is eliminated. All right. Then you look at what, what, what else you know. Does, do canines have uh, uh, concavities? Do central incisors have concavities? Uh, no. So if you look at the, the distal surfaces of first molars, even if you're not sure, but you know that uh, the canines don't have concavities, Central insides have, don't have concavities, so you can know that uh, the answer here is going to be D. Okay. Uh, question 10. All of the following are characteristics of the mandibular canine, except, so whenever it comes to exceptions, make sure you pay attention, all right? Because uh, these are very good questions. Um, so, Mandibular canine are well, they have well developed, uh, developed prominent singular, uh, root somewhat flattened mesial distally, crown somewhat asymmetric when viewed from the labia, labial surface inclined lingually when viewed from the prox proximal, a relatively straight mesial border of the crown when viewed from the labia. So here you have to know the anatomy, you know that uh, when compared to the maxillary, the mandibular doesn't have a prominent singular, so our answer is going to be A. This is the exception. All right. 
All right, so this is the end of it. Um, I hope that uh, this helps and uh, hopefully on the next video, we're going to continue to, to question 11 to 21. If you have any questions, please uh, comment and uh, ask any topics which you, you'd like you'd like us to review. All right, good luck.